So now I'm going to turn is turn it over to Katie Stein from Merits, who is our official AdvaMed registration and housing provider. Thanks, Leslie. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, like Leslie said, my name is Katie. So I'm the project manager for Merits. And um, like Leslie said, we are your registration and housing partner. Um, so we've tried to make this really easy for you guys, but please let us know if you have questions. Um, there's also going to be contact information at the end. Okay, so once you're at the MedTech Conference website, um, you'll be directed to the registration site and you would choose Exhibitor. And then, like Leslie mentioned before, you'll be redirected to that Exhibitor Resource Center. So this is where you'll sign in with your Map Your Show credentials. And then once you're logged into Map Your Show, um, you'll see it referred to as MYS throughout this presentation. You'll click on the button, um, it'll say Reg Housing and Lead Retrieval, and this will bring you into Merits. And then after you're registered, um, we'll kind of go into that on another slide, but you'll have two options for housing. Um, if you need nine or less rooms for your um, group, you'll just book your room under Manage Group on the dashboard. Um, and then if you need 10 or more rooms for your group, um, you'll go through the request a block process and we'll also go through that process here too. Okay, so this is where you'll start if you need nine or less rooms. Um, so you would, once you're on the validate screen, you'll choose nine or less. And then you'll be redirected into your contact profile. And so you'll just go over all of your information. And if it's correct, um, you'll agree to the terms of use and then you'll click on verify. And then from the dashboard, you'll see that purple button and it's called manage group. And this is where you can add or edit any of your booth personnel. Um, and then you'll also see your allotment totals, how many people you have registered so far, and then what's left from that allotment availability. Um, but after that, you would click on manage group, and then that'll take you to the group summary page. And you'll see there you have options like add new person. You can also import people if you have a large list. Um, so you're able to do that there. And then you can also send confirmations from this screen as well. And then let's say that you need 10 or more rooms. So you'll go through the request a block process. So you'd hit 10 or more rooms, and then you're going to begin the room block request process. And then here you're able to select um, your hotel choices and you can rank them based on your preference. Um, and then like we said, this is a request. So if you're, if we do have um, availability to accommodate that request, we will try to do it based on your hotel preferences that you've listed here. And then you can also select additional criteria that's important to you, such as rate, um, proximity to the conference center, um, and also if you'd like all the rooms at the same hotel. So once you're done with that, you're gonna move on to your arrival and departure dates. And then um, you just have to make sure that you have selected how many rooms you want on the main event night. And the main event night is the peak night on October 15th. And then once that's done, you'll hit apply. And then after you've selected all your dates for your block, um, you'll see your selections here based on what you said that you needed. Um, and then if you need to adjust anything, this is the spot to do it. But if you're done, you would hit next. And then at this point, you're basically just reviewing um, everything that you inputted and making sure that it's all correct. And if it is, you would hit submit room block request. And then you'll get a confirmation email just basically saying that your block request has been submitted. Um, and then Merits will go in and assign your group to the hotel. And once your block has been assigned to the hotel, you will get an email um, basically outlining your guarantee of your block of rooms. And then um, to agree to accept that block, you have to log, log back in through Mapper Show. Um, and then you're going to click on the guarantee block, that purple button. Um, and then there you're able to input your payment information and guarantee your block. And then, so like I mentioned before, you'll be entering your payment information. You'll land back on the dashboard. And this is important to note, um, your credit card is only used to hold the block of rooms. And so it will not be charged. Um, but then you can go to manage group and start adding your exhibitors or send out the link for them to make their own arrangements. Um, 
And I know this is a lot of information, um, but basically if you need nine or less or 10 or more, we certainly have you covered for housing and registration, but please contact our exhibitor coordinator if you have any questions or any issues. Um, and we can put this uh, email in the chat here too. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. I really appreciate you being on. And if anyone has further questions about registration or housing, feel free to put them in the chat or email.